Hey friends, my name is Maddie, and welcome to Syrup and the Ultimate Sweet. This is a visual novel. It was made for the Yuri Game Jam in 2015 by Nami, and it's got 10 different endings. Um, so yeah, there's gonna be some same-sex relationships and stuff in this, which I am so excited about because I never find games with or about lesbians. Um, I date women, so I am really excited to get started on this. So, um, I don't know why it's giving me a load option, because I've never played this before, but let's just start. In a peaceful town of magic users, there's a shop that only sells ordinary, non-magical candies. Atelier Sweets. Well, turn that down a bit. The owner is known as the Candy Alchemist, a firm believer in science as the superior art. Proud and stubborn, she continues to make magnificent candies in order to prove her case. But a magical surprise waits in her basement workshop. Hmm? What's this thing? Good morning, how are you today? Uh, fine. I am also fine! Pastille, can you come down here, like, now? Um, I would like it if you told me your name. I would tell you mine, but I was not given one. Syrup. Pastille, hurry up! You are Syrup. It's very nice to meet you. I hope we can be friends. Yeah, that's not happening. Pastille, get down here already! Syrup, it is very important that we get along. You stay away from me. I want you out of my lab right now. What is this you are holding? Uh, what's it look like? It's candy. You are eating it? Yep, that's the whole point of candy, to get eaten. I see. Then please eat me. What? No, you weirdo. But you have to. It is my purpose as candy. Do not eat the cute candy girl. I'm not eating you. Is there a problem? Please put me in your mouth. Oh dear. It's about time, Pastille. Make her stop. I promise I taste good. Here, just start with a finger. I said no. I'm not going to eat a person. It's too weird. I am not just a person. I am candy. You said the whole point of candy is to get eaten. Hmm. Sai, why don't you just eat her then? Because she's not regular candy. I don't want to eat any magic candy that acts like it's human. If I did not act human, would you eat me? Nope. It's too late. I'm never eating you, ever. Got it? N no Hey, don't give up. Maybe she'll change her mind one day. Don't encourage her. Whose side are you on? I- I will not give up. I will get along with Syrup. If you want to get along so badly, stop telling me to eat you. Pastille, do something about this. Me? Yeah, you. It's your fault she's in here. What do you mean? I know exactly where this girl came from. Y you do? That rotten witch made her to torment me. This is all her stupid, elaborate prank. You forgot to lock this place up last night, and look what happened. Oh. Yeah, that's probably what happened. Whoops, my apologies. Whatever, just hurry up and get her out of here. I've got work to do. Yes, the important work of eating me. I said that's not gonna happen. Syrup, you are going the wrong way. Hold on. You'll never be able to get along with her if you keep telling her what to do. Really? Yeah, can't you tell? She doesn't like it very much. You have to find out what she likes. Pastille, I can't help but notice this doesn't sound like you're trying to get rid of her. In fact, it sounds like the complete opposite. Alright, Master. I will find out what she likes. Master? Maybe she means master of the household? This is my store, not a house. If anyone's the master, it's me. Should I have not called you Master Master? Um, just Pastille is fine. Master Pastille. Well, that's close enough. You, quit being so friendly with my assistant. And you, I thought I told you to get her out of here. Come on, Sai, she's not hurting anything. You're forgetting it was that witch who made her, obviously, as a prank or something. Just watch, she'll start wrecking my lab any minute. Hmm? I don't think she ever planned on wrecking anything, Sai. 
Are you saying I'm wrong, and that she's here for some other reason? Well, I don't know, I just think... You, Candy Weirdo, who made you? That is a secret. Figures, why are you here then? To get along with Syrup. See? Harmless. Shut your face. Alright, wanna know the secret to getting along with me? Yes. Stay out of my lab! But... Let's give her some space for now, okay? Okay. Why is she only listening to Pastille, stupid candy weirdo? A little while later. One more batch of these, and... shoot. I need more Tartrazine. I guess I'm taking a shopping break. Then, every day after the cleaning's done, we take inventory. Running a store sounds like a lot of work. I have a newfound respect for you, Master Pastille. What is this? What are you doing? Oh, sigh. I'm teaching her how we run the store. I am helping. She's so cute. <laughs> so is Syrup, too. I like how cranky she is. No, 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 no. You were supposed to make her leave, not reveal all our trade secrets. And why do you dress her like that? Would you rather she kept walking around naked? She needs a uniform if she's going to work here. She's not working here. I want to work for Syrup. Let's get along. Cut it out! What are you thinking, Pastille? What if she really was sent here as a spy so that witch can ruin us? It's like you're just handing her our business. We could use the extra help. If she does turn out to be Butterscotch's spy, I'll take full responsibility. So, can we keep her? Magic candy golems aren't pets. I said no. I will work hard to earn my stay. I'm very skilled with menial tasks. It's true. She cleaned this whole place while you were down there making candy. Look around, it's spotless. Hmm. She did do a good job. It even looks brighter than usual. Yeah, let's keep her. Fine. She can work for one day, but after that I want her out. Thank you, Syrup. I will not disappoint you. Hmm. She's already started taking inventory by herself? What a hard worker. What are you smiling about? She'll steal your job at this rate. Gah, slow down! Welp, guess that's settled. I need to do some shopping. Wait! You waited. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, what do you want? Master Pastille said that he will handle the inventory taking. If you're running errands, I would like to help. Whatever floats your boat. Fine, let's go. Huzzah! So what are we shopping for today, Syrup? Tartrazine. I have never heard of that. Does it make your candy tastier? It's food coloring. It doesn't taste like anything. Oh, I was hoping we might buy something to make me taste better. Why? So I'll want to eat you? Yes! Well, you're out of luck. No matter what you taste like, I'm not eating you. Syrup, you're a very stubborn person. Yep. Here we go. Tartrazine. Mission complete. Now you can make more inventory for me to take. Sure. Just don't forget you're only staying for one day. That is fine with me. I will just have to become your friend before then. Ooh, a cat person. Oh, it's the candy alchemist, meow. Syrup, a kitty cat. Meow. Where'd you get such an impressive golem? I thought you hated magic things, Nya. What do you want? <laughs> this is so anime, I love it. <laughs> Gee whiskers, I'm not so rude as to decline greeting my master's rival when I see her. Salutations, Nya. Oh, how polite. Nice to meet you, kitty. The name's Toffee, Nya. And what do they call you, Miss Golem? I have not yet been given a name. Nyoho, how sad for you. But really, Candy Alchemists, I'm very surprised to see this new friend of yours. Oh, I don't think we've become friends yet, but I'm working very hard at it. She doesn't look familiar to you? After all, it was your master who made her, right? Was it? I had no idea. You aren't fooling anyone, Cat. That rotten witch is the only one who'd try to prank me like this. She made this golem to either spy on me or try to sabotage my business somehow. Sabotage your business? Master's your best customer, Nya. That doesn't make a lick of sense. 
I'm sure if she were here, she'd try to take responsibility for it, though. It takes some high-level magic to make a thing like that, nya. Yeah. Which brings us back to my first point. Why is the candy alchemist, who's so outspokenly anti-magic, strolling around with such an unscientific creature, nya? Yeah? I'll admit, you do have a point, cat. I don't want to just abandon her. Come on, take her home. Come on, we're getting out of here. Okay, goodbye, Toffee. Running away, Nya? Well, thanks for the interesting chat. The pair made their way home, and Syrup went straight back to work, making more delicious candies. In appreciation for the candy girl's enthusiasm and general willingness to be helpful, the candy alchemist decided to keep her as an assistant. And so, the golem started living with Syrup and Pastille at Atelier Sweets. She became a mascot figure for the shop, boosting sales instantly. Gel... Jelly... something... um, no. You'll think of something. I have faith in you, Syrup. What's going on over here? I'm trying to come up with a name for her. You're naming her? What happened to candy golems aren't pets? Well, I can't just keep calling her candy, weirdo. Technically, you could. No, we really should give you a proper name. How about Gumdrop? Gumdrop! It's a nice name. I think she likes it. Yes! I knew it, I knew if it was Syrup, she would pick something good. Hello, hello. The Chocolate Brothers are making their entrance. Yes, we've heard your shop has gotten a lot more interesting as of late, so we decided to pop in. Hello. Welcome to Atelier Sweets. Oh, Candy Alchemist, you've got sugary golems for sale now? How charming. But if we're not mistaken, isn't magic necessary in their making? Unless you found a way to create life through your alchemy. She's our assistant, and I didn't make her. Ooh, mysterious. I'm completely taken with her. May I offer you flowers, my lady? Magic flowers? You're very good, sir. Can you not do that in here? I don't want your magic dust getting all over my goods. You haven't changed one bit, Candy Alchemist. Our apologies. Syrup, you shouldn't boss around these kind, well-dressed customers. Are you sassing me? It's my store, I'll do what I want. Hmm, would you perhaps be interested in selling this one? She's quite adorable. You can buy any other candy in here, but this one's mine. Syrup, I'm delighted that you think of me as yours. Don't take it the wrong way, you just work for me. Your looks are good for business. What a shame. Golems are said to be such excellent servants. We've come to want one of our own. You two can do magic. Make one yourselves. Oh, no, no. It's a very high-level spell that requires a focused passion. Even our combined power couldn't result in anything close to that. I'm sure you could get it if you tried. Not that I know anything about magic. Yeah, uh-huh. I mean, Pastille is probably the one that made her in the first place, considering she calls him master and stuff. Well, well, we'll just have to make- it, we'll just have to give it a go sometime- Let me start that over. <laughs> well, well, we'll just have to give it a go sometime then, hmm? Now, I suppose we should purchase something sweet and be on our way. Caramel sounds lovely, doesn't it, brother? We have that. Allow me to assist you with the register. She's so friendly, isn't she? I think she overdoes it. Whatever keeps customers happy, though. Hey, Pastille. Is it true not just any old witch can make a golem? Huh? Well, you don't see very many walking around, so that sounds about right. Hmm. Penny for your thoughts? Just wondering what Butterscotch's actual skill level is when it comes to this kind of thing. Well, it's like you said. If Butterscotch didn't make her, then who did? Um, you did, I'm pretty sure. She seems to listen to you. Do you know where I'm going with this? Hmm, no. Ask her to tell you who her, who her creator is, since she won't tell me. You're my only hope, dude. Uh, oh, I already asked, when I was training her for work. No luck there, sorry. Ugh, I'll drag it out of her some way or another. To change the subject, I'm surprised to see you out of that basement during store hours. Was there any particular reason for that? Yeah, I was planning on... Lending you a hand running the storefront, maybe? Very funny. No joke, dude. You'd actually help with all the work you usually push off on me because you hate doing it? Is there something you want? Just to spend some time with my bestest bunny, Pastille. 
Come on, is it that weird for me to take a break from candy making to help with the candy shopkeeping? Honestly, yes. Well, maybe I just want a little change of pace. Is it okay if I work with you for one afternoon? Your people skills are lacking. You never remember where any of the inventory goes, and whenever you clean anything, I always have to go over it a second time. Then make me better at all those things. I already made up my mind, so no more whining about what an awful job I do. Heh, <laughs> if you insist. This is so adorable. I ser I love the art style, too. I love how, like, chibi and cute they are. No, no, I told you not to put the gumballs next to the jawbreakers. A little kid might hurt themselves. So? Their fault for being an idiot kid. This is why we keep you in the basement. You're a danger to society. <laughs> Me, <laughs> to be honest. Little did you know, I've been poisoning the candy all along. I'm dangerous no matter where you put me. <laughs> Please don't joke about that. It's going to haunt me with every sale we make. Yeah, yeah. Since I'm already screwing up your precious shelves, got anything for me to clean instead? Thanks to Gumdrop's help, everything's extra clean already. How about I make a list of candies we're running a little low on, and you could just go back downstairs to- Stop. I get it. Let me finish just- Let me finish this job the way you want me to, at least, and then I'll be out of your hair. You actually put everything where it should go. I've never been more proud of you than in this moment, Sai. See? I can be helpful when I put my mind to it. Still glad you're in charge of all these things instead of me, though. Huh, <laughs> let's just say the store would be in deep trouble if we traded jobs. I don't know the first thing about making candy. Um, speaking of candy, I've wanted to thank you. What for? Even though you have your issues with anything and everything magical, you're still letting Gumdrop work for us. I know you didn't like it at first, but now you're letting her stay here, so thanks. Eh, I don't know. You're making it sound like I approve of her now. So you'd still rather she wasn't around. In case she's trying to hurt my business, yes, I'd rather not endanger our store. But if she's not, then sorry, I was wrong. Can you really blame me for being suspicious, though? No, of course not. I'm just glad to see that despite everything, you're finally letting someone new into your life. He totally made her so that Syrup would have a date or something. More accurately, she busted in at it. She busted in out of nowhere like a giant sh sugary pest. I didn't think I'd ever be annoyed by Candy, but here we are. Oh, don't say that. She's a golem. That means all she can do is follow orders from her creator. Hmm. And what do you think those orders were? She hasn't stolen from us yet. But she could just be trying to gain our trust before the lethal strike. Spending all your time worrying about how someone's going to betray you isn't a very good way to live your life. True, but I'm keeping my guard up for now. <laughs> That's no way to make friends. I'm not looking to make friends. I've already got you, isn't that enough? Sai, to be honest, I'm tired of watching you scare everyone off with your attitude. I know you're sensitive. I'm not sensitive, you're sensitive. This is exactly what I'm talking about, you just... Are you hungry? I'm kind of hungry. I'm gonna go bring back some lunch. See ya. And she ran away. She always does. Poor Syrup. Oop! She suddenly came out! Toffee, what do we do? Butterscotch? Cat? What are you doing creepily lurking outside my store? Oh my gosh, Butterscotch is adorable. I imagined her as like an old lady, but <laughs> she's just a little girl. It really hurts my feelings when you don't remember my name, yeah. Don't dodge the- don't dodge the question, and don't try to run away. Ha <laughs> Who's running away? This is a public road. We're well within our rights to loiter here. We came to see your golem, ya. Yeah. <clears throat> Toffee told me she's doing quite well in your hands. You know, the golem that I so magnificently crafted. Yep, your little spy is a pretty diligent worker. Makes it worth keeping her around. I was just here to check in on her, that's right. See for myself how diligent she's being at, um, spying up close. Unless you're gonna buy something, I don't want you in my store. I bought some dosh. I can buy your candy if it means I can check out your my golem. Whatever, as long as you two behave yourselves. Oh, it's the kitty cat from before! Who is your friend? This is my master, the great and powerful witch, Butterscotch. Be grateful she's gracing you with her presence, Nya. Oh, there she is. Such beautiful, gummy skin, and oh, if I could just try a bite of that hair. You haven't already? That's odd, considering you claim that you made her. 
that that's because I had to send her over in flawless condition. I showed her a lot- I showed a lot of restraint, you know, but it paid off. She's perfect. Now Master is at her limit. You should let her have a taste before she loses it, Nya. Absolutely not. You can have any other candy in here except Gumdrop. How cruel! You just want to keep her all to yourself, don't you? I'll put up with it. For now. Just don't forget who that golem actually belongs to. Me! Yeah, yeah, enough whining. Just buy something and get out. And don't get any of your gross magic or drool on my stock. My magic isn't gross, and you should take this drool as a compliment. Yeah. Come on, Toffee, let's blow this popsicle stand. Next time those two come by, we should really just pretend we're closed. Syrup, do you dislike Miss Butterscotch? She's a witch. You dislike witches? Some more than others. Butterscotch is the worst, though. She thinks my alchemy has nothing on her magic, which is totally wrong, of course. Then why does she buy so much of your candy? Because no matter how hard she tries, her magical candies never taste as good as mine. She probably thinks that if she eats enough of them, she'll absorb the knowledge. If she really thought her magic was better, I do not think she would support you buying so, so many of your candies. Oh, I do not think she would support you by buying so many of your candies. You should be nicer to her. Whether or not she means what she says, it's her attitude that drives me up the wall. I'm just not capable of being nice to someone like that. What do you care, anyway? I would like for Syrup to get along with everyone. Is that what your creator wants, too? For me to be friends with Butterscotch so she can get free candy from me? That is not the intention. Sai, so don't give her such a hard time. She's working really hard for us. You were listening? Master Pastille, I don't think Syrup trusts in me. What should I do? Don't worry, Gumdrop. Once she sees you're a good person, I'm sure she'll come around. Right, Sai? We'll see. Gumdrop, what are you doing in my lab? Oh, Syrup! I am organizing your bookshelf! Why? What are you even doing up right now? The store doesn't open for another few hours. I do not require sleep. Oh, lucky? I wish I didn't require sleep. Anyway, you shouldn't come down here without permission and start moving my things around. I don't like it. Oh, may I come in and- You already did! But whatever, I guess it's fine. Syrup, I have noticed a trend with the books in your personal library. Oh yeah? What's that? They are all very boring. Gee, thanks. Only one book is abnormal. It is the only one with reference to magic. Magic? Throw it out. Wait, isn't this- Oh, yeah. It's an old family cookbook. My grandma wrote it. I am sensing high levels of nostalgia. Syrup's cold heart has been softened by memories from days long past. Yeah, yeah. See this page here? When I was a kid, making this was my dream. The Ultimate Sweet, a legendary confection said to have only been crafted once before by the greatest alchemist in the world. Flavor rating, 100 stars. Shelf life, eternal. Those who partake in this in this suite are blessed with great fortune. Upon consumption, a temporary enlightened state is attained, and you find yourself crying for reasons you cannot place. Obtaining the ingredients for the ultimate suite require both magical talent and mastery of science, making it exceedingly difficult, if not utterly impossible, for one person to create on their own. The ultimate suite, is it yummy? Only the most delicious thing to ever exist. I used to tell Pastille I was going to make it one day so that he could taste it. But, like the book says, the main, ingredient the main ingredient is impossible to find without magic. I guess I kind of gave up on it. Master Pastille wanted to eat this? Yeah, a long time ago. He probably forgot about it by now. Syrup, we should make it! Uh, like I said, I had to give up on it. You can't make it without magic, so I don't want to. But we can ask, um, I mean, a witch can help us. Not happening. You should not give up on your dream. This is our chance to work together and get along even more. You're always going on about that. Are you obsessed with being friends or something? Precisely. All right, Candy Weirdo. Let's figure out a way to make the ultimate sweet. Without magic. Good. And while Master Pastille eats it, you can eat me. I've said it a thousand times. I'm not eating you. Disappointment. 
Come on then, we'll need to do some research before we go out gathering ingredients. Okay. Oh my gosh, I don't know how long I've been recording, but my voice is already tired. This is a really cute game though, I'm really enjoying the art style and the music and um, the dialogue and the general storyline. It reminds me a little bit of Adventure Time with all the candy stuff going on. Um, and everybody's candy-themed names. It's really cute though. Um, it's reminding me a lot of when I was when I first got into anime and I was going through like my little weeaboo phase and such. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this, so I'll leave a link down in the description. It is free, but if you could donate to the creator, that would be awesome as well. But um, in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, go ahead and leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye! The thing is, I'm just not a people person.